This is a low-cost electric vehicle, assembled like Lego in a factory that will follow the McDonald's franchise and assembly line method. You will be able to buy a franchise and have your own vehicle assembly plant without even needing to know how to assemble a factory or a vehicle. That's what the UK startup Helix promises. The vehicle range will consist of a commercial delivery van named Cargo, a pickup truck for construction sites named Truck, and two vehicles for rideshare and taxi fleets, one with an open body tuk-tuk style named Tuck, and another with a closed body named Ride. They all have a single steering wheel and seat in the center, freeing up more space for cargo and being compatible with both left and right-hand drive markets. And it is very small, just 3.2 meters long and 1.5 meters wide, and with a 2100 liter capacity and a 500 kilograms maximum payload. Remember that all Ford Model Ts were black? Well, these will all be white. Whoa. Apart from the demonstration models like the one produced a few days ago, the first one, a delivery van. Built around a hybrid aluminum chassis, the vehicle body is comprised of just five main structural components, which all click and bond together, not being welded, facilitating assembly. This reduced the complexity of the manufacturing process by up to 50% compared to a conventional one with welding of stamped panels, in addition to reducing mass by 30% and eliminating hundreds of small components. I'm looking forward to seeing the safety tests. There is no data available yet on the electric motor, but they will have lithium iron phosphate batteries, cheaper and safer, but with low energy density being used for short and medium autonomy. Tesla also plans to use this type of battery in some vehicles, and most Chinese vehicles already use it. Helix will offer multiple options, with a 12 kilowatt hour configuration offering a range of about 200 kilometers, or about 124 miles. The vehicles will also be equipped with rapid battery swap technology, allowing them to run in just a few minutes. The simple design and ease of assembly of these models enabled another great innovation. They will not be built in large central assembly plants, which are slowly expanded as production increases. Instead, Helix created a modular system. Each hub would be like a fast food restaurant, which assembles and markets its products. If vehicle production needs to be expanded, another hub is added. According to them, in just 180 days, the factory is built, the team trained, and the vehicles will be leaving the assembly line. Helix provides all equipment, machinery, and technology, as well as the management system for the entire process, monitored and managed in real time at the Helix Mission Control in the UK. This remote control and the extremely simplified assembly process allow it to operate with just a few employees. Just 96 workers would be enough to operate a factory that produces 30,000 vehicles per year. As a comparison, Rivian produced only 25,000 vehicles in 2022. But of course, it's not a very fair comparison, as Helixes are much simpler and lower cost. Sales contracts will be managed by Helix on a subscription plan starting at 25 cents per hour. This includes regular maintenance, repairs, insurance, and even roadside assistance. It can be very interesting for those who do not want to invest a large amount of money buying a fleet of vehicles and then replacing them. Being able to invest this money in what is the company's focus, such as in the production of the products that will be delivered, or even expanding an urban transportation fleet, for example. A franchise license fee starts at $20 million, but will depend on production capacity. For a large factory producing 100,000 vehicles per year, it will be around $100 million. But that would be an absurdly large vehicle production. This mini electric vehicle was the best selling in China in 2022, with 443,000 units. Yeah, they're pretty optimistic. So in this business model, Helix owns the technology and controls the supply chain. And the license holder makes the financial investment in the factories, which can expand modularly, in contact with end customers, receiving part of the profit. According to the company, it is similar to the McDonald's system. Helix plans to produce 100 vehicles at its test factory in the United Kingdom, then open one in Singapore, moving on to India, the Middle East, North Africa, and South America. The strategy is to provide mobility services in regions where there is a demand for this commercial service, and the acquisition of a vehicle by an individual may not be financially viable. Subscribe for more engineering and technology news, and until next time.